All right, Tatiana Chamorro, Dallas, Texas. How long have you lived there now? It's been about six years. Six years. Now you're a little different than a lot of the people coming onto our franchise program. We're day four into training for franchises. Day four. But you already have a successful agency. You're already doing multiple like six figures. You're crushing it. You're growing. Why in the world, why in the world would you stop, not stop, but pivot and join a franchise model? You know, I think there's a lot of opportunities here. Um, one of them being that <clears throat> scalability. So I'm definitely going to be able to scale faster. Um, but add to that the factor of keeping the quality. And to me, that's very important. You know, customer service is huge. Um, making sure that everything matches my client's expectations is huge. And if I'm talking about scalability by myself, perhaps adding a couple more team members, um, that still doesn't allow me to scale as much as I could with you guys. Mm. What are the different factors you think that will um, specifically enhance the ability to scale? Um, definitely processes that are already established um, mm. for specific services um, and then also allowing me to have a bigger team behind me. So mm. I am now not just me um, answering all the questions, but I have a you know, certified team that knows what they're talking about as well, um, who is there to support me, who is there to allow me for any flexibility in terms of taking over certain things that might need to be taken yeah. over. I think that's a, that's, a, that's a good point because at the end of the day, the franchise system, yeah, it's about support, yeah, it's about operations, but team is really what it boils down to, right? And so we live in a very chaotic world and whatever comes up, would you rather have one person, two people, or would you rather have 70 people, 100 people trying to solve that issue, right? And so how can we solve, solve problems together? Absolutely, and just to add to that, for me, you know, it's not only about the team, but like, who's the team? And mm -hmm. is the team happy? What is the energy here? And that, yeah. that's huge, that's yeah. huge, and I see that here, so. Yeah, it's a, it, we've been very blessed to bring on crazy people, like yourself, <laughs> that are absolutely awesome, right? Now, we, on day one, we talked about commitments, right? We talked about what are we all fighting for? And it's been exciting because all of our commitments seem to be fairly aligned, which tells me we're getting the right people. What was your commitment again? My commitment was to serve others. To serve others, right? And, and through that, I know you have some big ideas. We talked a lot about a lot of these ideas. So mm -hmm. what, are the, what are the, some of the things, because I think the agency is the business, what we do, right? It's what we, and we enjoy it, but ultimately it's to do bigger things is really. So what are some of those bigger things that you're looking to do with the agency? Yeah, I think a big part for me particularly is being a mom, being a woman. I want to empower other women. I want to empower others to know that they can do it as well. Yeah. Um, so I, I want to be, you know, leading by example and in terms of also, it's not just, you know, anyone can do it with effort, yeah. with the right people around them. Um, to me, that's very important. Sometimes we forget that. And so I want to make sure that I'm there to yeah. also support others to get to their goals. Yeah. What are you most scared of over the next months or year in this new venture? Um, you know, I think everything I've done, there's fear behind it. Um, mm -hmm. If you don't explore a jump, yeah. I think jumping is the scariest part. So you, you know, you have all of these dreams and you jump for some of them because some of them feel a little more like realistic. Yeah. But when you do that big jump, the, you know, the return on that can be much bigger. For me, I'm scared of, um, honestly, this is going to sound weird, but I'm scared of like growing too much and not oh, yeah. being able to balance everything, you know, mm -hmm. because once you start growing, there's certain things that could, you know, maybe the, maybe the customer service is gonna come lower if I'm not able to put another team member and I have to realize when that's the time. I think being part of Height Digital allows me to have, you know, you guys um, part of the brainstorming. If I'm needing that support, you guys yeah. can tell me, hey, we're noticing this and that, maybe you should add this team member. Yeah. So it allows me to maintain, like I said, that quality, that customer service with that scalability. And that for me is key. I think it's so important because, <clears throat> you know, even even within the the corporate picture of height, you know, when we had five team members, right? I knew everyone. I took them and their families out for dinner. Like, it was this like real connection. Like, I literally saw one, someone in training the other day. I have no idea who they are. I assume they work for us. Like, I assume they're doing something, but I had no idea. I didn't even know their name. It was so embarrassing. But when you get to 100 team, you don't even yep. you, you lose track of it all, right? And so. 
you and I working together as business owners going, okay, how do we do this? How do we balance family when, okay, the, the business is taking a little bit more. There's those months when we're crowded. How do we balance faith? How, we, how do we balance life, you know, in general? And how do we balance our clients, right? And, and uh, I think ultimately what you said there is, is, hey, is it easier to solve issues with this big group, this big family, or is it easier to solve them on my own? And that's, I think, really what it boils down to in the franchise model is together we can solve issues, hopefully, much, much better than, doesn't mean we're not gonna have problems, but. You know, so what's your, what's your goal for year one? Like what is, we're going into, we're going into December right now, we got 12 months ahead of us. We don't really know what's to expect, right? Is the pandemic gonna go away? Is it stay around? You know, what's your goal ending 2021? Um, I would say my goal for the next six months is to have 30 customers. 30 customers. Oh yeah. We can get you there. That's not a problem <laughs> I know, at all. I know. <laughs> We're gonna make it happen. Our new partnership with Dave Ramsey, it's not even a problem. Not even a problem. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, I'm excited too. All right, very cool. All right, Mr. Lauren, how long, when did we first chat? What was the first conversation? I think we're probably maybe 60 to 90 days in. <laughs> it's been a quick one, right? Yeah. Let me ask you, so what were you doing pre our conversation? Uh, pre our conversation, I was looking at trying to scale up my digital marketing agency uh, from a fulfillment side. You know, I yeah. wanted to build it, but I knew that I was kind of at this threshold. I can't go any further doing what I want to do. Kind of stuck. I, I couldn't go by myself. But. Yeah. Now, we started having the conversation about franchising, right? What yeah. it looks like. And you were you were comparing franchises to coaching programs. You were comparing it to other ways of doing fulfillment. You were comparing a lot of different angles, right? What yeah. made you jump into this opportunity versus or, the other 100 opportunities? Well, for me, it was the, the conversation that was based on the values, sharing like values mm. or beliefs. And when I brought it up to my wife, I talked to my wife about it. And I said, you know, she's been watching me look for something, somebody, some company, a yeah. person with integrity who's at a level that I want to be at. Interesting. You're at a level I want to be at. I want to duplicate that. I want to scale up to a, a certain level. Now, most people say, oh, I chose franchising because, oh, you guys know product really well. You know prospecting really well. You know yeah. you've scaled. You're coming at a completely different angle. Sure. Right? Well, you've got that. That's That was kind of like, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so you do that. Well, the evidence for that's already there. That helped make the decision. Yeah. But I've also talked to other people who have that same thing. Yeah. They've got, they've got the same markers in mm. place. They've got the same profit concept in place. Yeah. So I can do that if I wanted to, but I don't want to build another business relationship. I have plenty of those. Yeah. I, I, I like the, the family concept. Uh, yeah. I love the idea that our focus is on family and that we're, we're a very connected company. Yeah. And that's what you've built. It's one thing to grow. It's another thing to grow in style. Yes. And for absolutely. us, style, our values is what you said, yeah. are very aligned. Family, faith, yeah. um, friends, relationships are absolutely more important potentially than the profits we have to have profits just like we have to eat every day sure right uh but what the 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 most impactful thing we do every day is not eating food it's what we do right for yeah. others and things around us yeah, and, and your story your your background your history of telling me how you came from kind of zero to hero is you know <laughs> you there's a, a there's a way to grow business it's not yeah. on debt it's not on yeah there's a way to do it right yeah and have peace in the same in the process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, what are you um, what are you most scared of with the franchise opportunity or growing your agency in and of itself? Uh, for me, it's you know I've I've been through enough uh, events in my life to where, especially business, uh, things that seemed like the right thing to do at the right the time. Yeah, and they were, but they only lasted a certain period of time because they just weren't built. Uh, I think on that a, a solid foundation and a level yeah. of, a, of a playing field that was as wide and broad as a, from a foundation standpoint. Mm. So I might have had my uh, my own abilities and reliance and skills, but I you know, I didn't bring anybody else in to say, hey, I, I got to have this wider foundation to really achieve success. Yeah. For me, that's it's kind of like looking at you know, the pyramid over there, the bottom of the mountain mm -hmm. over there is 
if I want to get to a certain level, the foundation has to be huge to support it. It That's has right. to. That's right. Not, none of the other videos will have this, but talk to me about uh, the mission that you have because I think it's it's so important. Your your nonprofit and what you guys do. Well, my, my wife and I actually founded this uh, this uh, ministry through our church. It's called the City Recovery, mm -hmm. and it's uh, seven steps to walk. My my wife actually rewrote the twelve steps. Uh, God just gave her this wisdom to say, hey, do this. Mm -hmm. It's seven steps to walking in freedom over life controlling issues. Okay. And so this city recovery meeting that we do once a week, we, our vision isn't to have a weekly support group like in the traditional uh, understanding of recovery meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually coming from a totally different picture, which is we feel like we've been called to recover our city. Mm -hmm. We go in and recover our city using this because right now people are locked into this uh, life controlling issues could be alcohol could be drugs uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic people have lost lost their businesses they lost family members yeah and so those life controlling issues could be an abusive relationship they could yeah. be his history they could be bad relationships you're just stuck mm -hmm. so we want to help people get unstuck mm -hmm. with this seven steps and you're not alone yeah so that's we want to build the center for city recovery eventually. I love it. I love it, and and that's the exciting thing about this, right? Like business is fun. It's exciting to, yeah. to make money, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, when we're invested in things like this, and that changes the game, right? We're fighting for something bigger than ourselves, and it uh, I think it gives us the strength to uh, to persevere, right? Yeah. Which is exciting. Well, I'm, I feel like we can do that with our the community impact that we can have in our from our business relationships. It just segues just directly. It's a direct correlation yeah. to our community because there's so many people yeah. stuck that have a capacity to do way more than yeah. you know, when they're out of that. And you know, exactly. when you're out of that, those kind of turmoils. It's huge. Yeah. Once you're given the once you're given the path to run on, you can run. Now it's you huge. can run. Huge. Awesome, man. All right, Gustavo Tapia. Now born and raised in California, right? Yes, in San Francisco. San Francisco. Why, why, because you moved away for a while and you came back just a couple of years ago. Why? Why go back to San Francisco? Well, when I was here in Nicaragua, I, uh, I definitely enjoyed it. It was a really amazing experience and some really good, I spent most of my 20s here. So yeah. it was, it was amazing. But I always felt that I wanted to go back home. Yeah. Like, this is my second home, but that's my first home. So I always felt that I wanted to go back and um, continue to to grow back in San Francisco with all the experience that I was able to get here. Yeah. Now you've been a part of Height for three years now? Three years. In some way, shape, form, or fashion. Yes. So before that, you were with an Inc. 5000 agency. You guys were growing like crazy. Why did you initially choose to come over be a part of our organization? Well, um, team member number one. Yeah. Uh, my initial thought that honestly is because it was with you. That Wait. was the first reason. <laughs> um, but also on top of that is um, I really aligned with your goals, with your vision, and I did not feel happy anymore where I was before. So I really wanted to be a part of something new and everything that you talked about was really something that really sparked my interest and that I really wanted to be a part of. Now, now our conversation is a little different than most because obviously you were a team member of Height Digital for three years and then now we're taking this, this new journey, right? Mm -hmm. So you moved to San Francisco a year ago, been working remote, leading several different projects for us and now all of a sudden we're going from I hate to say it, employee-employer relationship to partners, mm -hmm. right? So what drawed you into the opportunity? Because you, you forked out a lot of cash, I guess, to join the franchise deal. What um, what drawed you to it? What, get, what are you most excited about with this specific opportunity? I'm excited about the fact that I can take on a project of, of pushing myself. Yeah. Um, Everything that I've learned, of course, I have the your support, but I really have to take 
control of the car now, in other words. And I, everything that I've learned, I have to put it to practice. And uh, I also like the fact that, you know, it's, I'm the owner of it. Like, it, at the same time, it sounds pretty cool that, you know, you're an actual owner of something. Sometimes it's still hard to believe. Like, if someone asks me, like, what do you do now? Like, I own an I'm, agency. I own an agency. <laughs> that's, that's pretty crazy to say that. Um, and the fact that the goals continue to be the same. Yeah. Um, establishing more jobs, helping business owners yep. uh, be an important part of their uh, marketing strategies and really make an impact in their lives. So yeah. the goals continue to be the same. It's just that I'm in more, con I'm like in the driver's seat now. <laughs> but let me ask you, so, so obviously you and I have grown mm -hmm. the agency together, right? Um, and you weren't treated any more special than anyone else when it came to the franchise opportunity. Um, you know everything we know. You've been a part of this, right? So why why not do it on your own? Why why come into the franchise versus just starting your own website and rolling with it? I think that one big factor is that I know the team mm -hmm. and I know everyone that's involved and they're all great people. Mm -hmm. and. Um, doing it with the support of High Digital, of course, yeah. uh, will make everything uh, much better. Yeah, with the support of High Digital, because I know everybody, uh, I know they're all great people, and we are all aligned with our three pillars. Yeah. Which yeah. is family, excellence, excellence, and growth. Family, excellence, and growth. Let me ask you, now we, in the first day of, of training, franchise training, we, we made commitments. What are you committed to? I am uh, committed to being an inspiration to others. Inspiration to others, which is exciting to me because that's where, you know, as team member number one, now we're at 70, now you're franchise number one. Mm -hmm. And even just, you know, immediately afterwards, we signed up for more franchises, right? And so it's really, really exciting. Um, I think the, the the most important factor here, you know, as we're growing and scaling, is, is just that, right? Like the team. And I'm I'm glad that you mentioned that that was the reason, because at the end of the day, um, that's the most important thing for me in growing an agency, right? Putting the right team members around me. We have amazing operations people. We have amazing tech people. We have amazing product leaders, so on and so forth. And how are they driving, helping drive us forward? 